good morning students this is an introductory class for the chapter reproduction students what is a reproduction re means again production means making so this is the process of making again see here this monkey makes another monkey an elephant makes another elephant giraffe makes a giraffe likewise all the living organisms the produce the young ones of their own kind so this process of making young ones of their own kind by the living organisms is what is called as reproduction got it so what is reproduction is the process by which living organisms produce young ones of their own kind now is this process required for survival of the organism definitely not it is not required for the survival like uh, the nutrition respiration excretion transportation they are all required for the survival of the organism the very existence of the organism but this reproduction though it is a life process it is not required for the survival but it is required for the continuity of race or species so idi oka organism survive avadaniki avasaram ledhu but dani race anedi dani jaati anedi continue avadaniki it is required got it in other words if one giraffe stops reproducing nothing will happen to that giraffe but if all the giraffes they stop reproducing then they go extinct okka giraffe reproduction stop chesthe em kaadu but anni giraffe lu okka sari reproduction stop chesthe em avutundi dani jaat anedi antarinchi potundi got it and this has effect on environment too i told no every organism has its own role to play and all organisms are interconnected by food webs even our giraffe is a part and parcel of a food web if this gets extinct then what happens this its prey and predators they get affected the prey what is the prey of giraffe the trees they outgrow and what is the predator of a uh, giraffe it is lion wolf etc they get affected due to the scarcity of the food got it students so for the environment to be in balanced condition and for the different races to continue their existence this process of reproduction is must got it now this is about the reproduction at organism level but every organism you know it is made up of millions of cells right so at the level of cell even the cells undergo reproduction and that is what is called as cell division right so it is cell division or cell reproduction that is making us to grow see we start our life from a single cell called zygote what are we actually we are the products of sperm and ova you studied in eighth right yes when sperm and ova fuse what we get it is a single cell called a zygote and this zygote after rapid cell divisions the baby is formed and the baby finally grows to the adult stage right how this growth is happening this is due to cell division the zygote divides or reproduces itself and forms what baby and this baby grows to the adult stage again by cell division what is called as cell reproduction got it students so reproduction helps organisms in growing and the other uh, application is reproduction helps in repairing of the tissues whenever we get wounded the wound soon what happens heals off by the formation of new cells and how those cells are coming up they are uh, that is by cell reproduction called as cell division got it students so at the organism level reproduction helps in continuity of races or species and the and also helps in balance of environment and at the cell level it is helping in growing and also repairing of the tissues got it students now does all living organisms reproduce in a similar way definitely not different organisms reproduce in different ways some organisms even reproduce in more than one way example is our paramecium you know paramecium is a unicellular protozoan right yes 
this paramecium when conditions are favorable when food is completely available and temperature is favorable then what happens it undergoes reproduction by a method called binary fission so what is binary fission splitting of an organism into two daughter organisms same thing happens in paramecium it splits into two daughter organisms during favorable conditions got it next during unfavorable conditions when conditions are not favorable what happens it undergoes reproduction by another method called as conjugation what is this conjugation conjugation is something like sexual reproduction see here two different paramecia they come together and bind with each other like this after binding they exchange their genetic material this small nucleus is sent to this paramecium and this small nucleus is sent to this paramecium so they exchange the nuclei and then what happens a series of steps happen and finally the each paramecium splits into two daughter paramecia by binary fission again got it so finally how many daughter paramecia are produced four daughter paramecia are produced and all these daughter paramecia they are stronger and whiter vigorous than the mother organisms because they are the products of sexual reproduction so during sexual reproduction what happens exchange of genetic material is happening and due to that exchange finally the product organisms are more potent got it students so uh, what is uh, what did you observe paramecium undergoes binary fission during favorable conditions and conjugation during unfavorable conditions so in nature there are organisms which reproduce in more than one way got it students so this is about our paramecium now what about the time taken for reproduction even the time varies from organism to organism see here the time taken for the organisms to reproduce that is what is called as gestation period students you have studied about gestation period in 8th class right so what is gestation period it is the time starting from zygote formation till the delivery of the baby got it that period is called as gestation period and uh, that period varies from organism to organism see here the bacteria it reproduces within minutes and within bacteria also this time varies little bit see the example here escherichia coli or e coli is a kind of bacteria and it reproduces within 20 minutes got it and our card bacteria it takes 25 to 100 minutes got it next insects like mosquitoes bugs butterflies they take few days to several weeks cats and dogs it is 63 days rats 20 to 23 days rabbits 31 to 33 days humans it is 280 days are 9 months similar to humans it is in cows that is 280 days again and 83 days again now horse it is 1 year that is 330 days in elephants it is double that is 2 years accounting for 660 days got it students so from this you can understand the time taken for reproduction varies in organisms got it students now one interesting thing is within an organism also this time taken for reproduction varies depending on the conditions this is seen in case of lower organisms like bacteria protozoans etc so to understand this there is an activity given in your textbook and in this activity we are going to see how reproduction time varies for the lactobacillus bacteria depending on the conditions so now for this activity we have to take 30 teaspoons of hot milk 30 teaspoons of cold milk 30 teaspoons of lukewarm milk and for all these bowls we are going to add 3 teaspoons of curd got it so 3 teaspoons to hot milk 3 teaspoons to cold milk 3 teaspoons to lukewarm milk now what happens after some time milk is converted into curd why this happens this you have studied in 8th class itself so the sample curd that we have added contains a bacteria called lactobacillus and the milk contains its food called lactose so when lactobacillus is added to milk it feeds on the lactose sugar because the uh, food is plentifully available a bacteria feeds on it and reproduces continuously to form a big colony 
So due to this rapid reproduction, many lactobacilli are formed and this results in the formation of curd. Got it students? So because of the reproduction of lactobacillus, milk is converted into curd and this happens only in the case of lukewarm milk. And in case of cold milk, we don't find the formation of curd. Or sometimes we may find very less amount of curd formation. In case of hot milk, we don't find any curd formation. Why this happens? Why reproduction takes place only in lukewarm milk? That is because the lactobacillus for its reproduction requires an optimum temperature of 30 to 40 degrees. If the temperature is less than this or more than that, the lactobacillus does not reproduce. Got it students? In cold milk, it won't reproduce or it reproduces very less and that results in very less curd formation. In hot milk, it dies off and no curd formation takes place. Got it students? From this you can understand how reproduction time varies in case of lower organisms depending on the environmental conditions. Here it is the temperature which is making the organism to reproduce in different rates. Got it students? I hope you understood. So, so far we have understood what is reproduction and how different organisms reproduce in different ways. Like we have taken paramecium and we understood that it reproduces by two ways. Uh, depending on conditions and we have seen the time taken for different organisms to reproduce and uh, also have seen how the time varies with the conditions that are present. Then next is the types of reproduction students. Basically we can classify the types of reproduction into two that is asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction regarding these methods and the details we'll be seeing in next videos upcoming videos got it i hope you understood thank you